Praise the Lord one more time, one more again. We just thank God. Um, truly, the things that are hidden belong to God. The things that are revealed, they belong to us. That means that if God showed it to you, that is yours. No Baha. That means if God showed it to you, then guess who it belongs to? The things that are hidden, they belong to God. But the things that are revealed, they belong to us. And we thank God, um, glory to God, wherever God has revealed to you in your spirit, in your mind. Amen. Go with that. Live in that. Walk in that. No matter what your circumstances is, you will have what God told you and showed you that you're going to have. I don't care what's going on in your life. It don't matter if you, when you start reading the Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelations. You see all these men going through all these things in their lives and they're saying there's nowhere in the world you're going to be what God called them to be and told them to be. There's in the world that you look at Jacob and say Jacob's going to be the man um, that God uh, called him to be and told him nowhere in the world Abraham's going to do that after messing around with Hagar. There's nowhere Jacob is going to do that after um, getting involved with, with, with those two sisters. There's nowhere in the world that David can be the king after going through all that mess he's going through. There's nowhere in the world that Jeff Day after being born to an harlot can be a judge over all Israel. But listen, I'm telling you, no matter what your circumstances, no matter what your background is, educational background, if God said you're going to do something and be something, then guess what? You can take it to the bank. That's what's going on. Now, if man said, then you might have to caution yourself. If a woman said, then caution yourself. If um, anybody else said, somebody on TV said, if, if you heard it on, on the radio, if you heard it somewhere else, then you might, you might have some, you may have room to doubt. But if God said it, then you can take it to the bank. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen. And glory to God, you ought to take every prophecy that went out over your life. You ought to take everything that the words of God said about your life and apply it to your life. Because sure enough, it don't matter what you're going through right now. If God said you're blessed, you are blessed. And I just thank God for day. Glory to God. This being, um, I believe it's the day they celebrate Martin Luther King um, Jr.'s um, birthday and whatnot. And we thank God for that also. Um, a man that stood up uh, for what he believed in. What do you believe in, though? Because I, I believe one of the quotes he had was, if, if a man hasn't found something that he's fit, willing to die for, he's not fit to live. For, for me to live is Christ. And for me to die is gain. That's why I can't stand to be in places where um, they don't do the same. I can't stand to be in places where Christ, where the anointing of God, is not being manifested, is not being displayed, uh, that's a place I really don't really want to be, you know, but uh, glory to God in the highest. And we give God the praise and we give God the glory on this beautiful day. I know it's an ice storm, but it's still a beautiful day to me because this is the day the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad therein. And remember, always remember this. Everything is going down except the word of God. If it's a word, then I must have did it. And if it's not, then I wasn't with it. Stay committed.